Here we go. Let's walk up on this 1981 Corvette. Just beautiful. Just, just beautiful. I own a lot of these, and let me tell you, this color combination of this car is just stunning. It's been resprayed approximately five years ago. Beautiful paint job, beautiful finish. We're going to go through it real carefully. The body lines, all the body lines, the headlight lines, the hood lines, the door jam lines, the rear door jam lines. The body lines are beautiful. The sun is really glaring on this. The back end, when this car was resprayed, everything was done correctly. The labels were taken off. The lenses were taken out. Power antenna works. Updated stereo system. New interior. Just beautiful interior. Absolutely beautiful interior. All the way through. Let's see what we get down there. The carpeting, everything. The center console area. And the sun is really doing a job on here, so it might look a little, little bright, but it's it is just really. Look at the finish again. Look at this. You could see me. You could see me as clear as day. My wrinkly shirt. Just beautiful. The look at the sun glaring off the finish. And actually, if I go real carefully, you can see the reflections of the trees in this finish just really outstanding and the nose of it you know how these noses sometimes you get the the people bump the nose on it this is brand it looks like brand new nothing even the light area of the license plate is beautiful they spared no expense when they did the respray on this job just beautiful and the color is just outstanding very unique just beautiful the rims and tires look at these rims I know there's a little a little soap on it and stuff, a little leftover soap, but the rims are like brand new. They're actually, they have that, and the tires are like new. Just a beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful car. And if you're thinking, if you're from a distance and you want to purchase this sight on scene, I'm going to try to make this video as informative as possible so you could make that educated decision without even coming here. It's a beautiful day today with this beautiful Corvette. Just look, I don't know, look at this thing. Let me stop that reflection. I got the T-tops off, you saw it in the still photos, the mirrored T-tops are in perfect shape all through here. When they paint, they even painted this high gloss, like they took the the trim off and everything. Everything's in beautiful condition. All the way through. We're going to get in this shortly. And again, the body lines. Beautiful body lines. We're going to get in this shortly. We're going to start it up. We're going to take it for a test drive. We're going to, we're going to take a look at the engine as it's running. We're going to, I'm going to kind of go underneath here. Show you that the condition of the exhaust is absolutely wonderful. Let me see if I get under there all the way through. Let me go all the way under here a little more. Oh, sorry about the crawling there. Again, you could follow the exhaust. You could see the undercarriage of the car. Beautiful condition all the way up. And the frame, there, there's the frame. Look at the frame, how absolutely spotless it is. As clean as clean can be. That's the frame, all the way up, all the way under. Let me crawl under a little further so you can see the, it even has, you can even see the colors of the engine. Look at that, look at the, the uh, oil pan. And th that's a steering assist, see that piston? That's the steering assist, it was rebuilt. It doesn't leak a drop. Look at how dry the lines are. Yeah, they're a little, they're a little aged, but there's absolutely no leakage on that steering assist. Again, I'm trying to be as thorough as possible, just in case you're purchasing from a distance. Let's take a look at the motor. We're going to start it up shortly, uh, shortly, but I'm going to show it to you just now as it sits. Let me get that set. 
absolutely beautiful. The sun, I know, is glaring on it a little bit. Kind of hard to see. A whole new braking. All the braking system's been updated. We put new headlight actuators in. Headlights go up and down perfectly, which I'll show you very shortly. Air conditioning system does work. Let me stress, it does work and it blows ice cold. All original in here, all original. Smog pump is still in here, everything. It's all original and works perfect. 23,000 original miles. All right, let's, let's start this thing up and uh, take a look at the motor as it's running. E-brake works as it should. You definitely need that when you have a, did I mention four speed manual? Oh my God, I forget to say all these things. Oh, look at that. Starts right up and look, idles exactly where it should. Right about 600 RPMs. E-brake is holding as it should. It has beautiful, whoa, power antenna that works. Where is it? I don't even know if you could see it or not. I think you could. I don't know if I caught that or not. But it all, it works perfectly just as it should. Turn the power off. Let's take a look at this motor as it's running. Pop the hood again. Just operates just as it should, as smooth as can be. Around to the other side. Just operating as smooth as can be. Not a hesitation, not a jump, not a skip. Just absolutely what you would expect from a car with 23,000 miles on it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the T tops back on. We're going to go for a little test drive. So I'll be right back. All right, just wanted to get one, one more look at what it looks like in the video with the T-tops on. Mirrored T-tops, beautiful. Nothing like having a very beautiful paint job, unique color, four-speed manual, Corvette that runs 100%. When you're purchasing a Corvette, that's what you want. You want one that runs one that you don't even have to worry about anything not even about changing the oil right now that's been done but anyhow let's everything's been done maybe you have to take a few dust particles off the car and that's going to be it four speed manual is so fun to drive and this car is peppy not a race car but boy it is peppy here we go a little test drive on the corvette hold on here we go first gear Second gear, third gear. Oop, is that a bus? Oh no, we're getting stuck behind a bus on a test drive. <laughs> oh man, how, how unlucky can we be? All right, All right let, let me, uh, well, it looks like he's moving here. It doesn't look like, uh, See what I just want you to enjoy the test drive here. Let you know I'm gonna uh, with camera in hand and a four-speed manual, I'm gonna be doing a three-point turn. How do you like that? And uh, that's talent, right? I guess. All right, here we go. There we go. A little three-point turn. No one's coming, so we're lucky with that. back now I can't get too crazy because as you see it is a residential area but you want to look out I'm gonna give it the gun a little man oh man this thing goes this thing goes let me just be careful up here Those of you that are thinking of buying sight unseen, this is the perfect video for you. You don't have the time to travel all the way down here. Absolutely beautiful. 
e-brake works just as it should everything is up. oh wait a minute i didn't show you the uh the operation of the headlights let me see i'll pull the camera way up here let me take a look here um let's see uh let me take another look here all right here we go ready flip them on see them both shut them down there they go all right how about wipers here we go wipers everything works as it should how about signal lights there you go left how about the right signal light they do operate on the outside folks um let's see what else that's about it if we tested just about everything else and i'll leave it running for the time being we're going to get out let me see i'll turn the parking lights on just to add that cool effect and folks if you're looking for a beautiful car here it is 1981 corvette just about as cool as you can get if you have any questions feel free to call me i'll answer any questions you have and good luck